What's up? Welcome to vlog number seven. And on vlog number seven, you know what we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about why I think you should start a vlog. And no, it's not just because I started one. I think there's lots of really, really good reasons to start a vlog. Not that anyone pays attention to mine anyway, but you know what? That's not the point. It's still worth doing even if people don't really pay attention to it. And I'm going to tell you why. That's what you're going to learn in this video. My five reasons why vlogging is something you should be doing. God, I point a lot. I'm sorry. Okay. Reason number one why starting a blog is going to be a useful thing is because it's going to make you become, you know where I'm going with this? A better storyteller. I don't care what it is in life. Life is all about being able to tell good stories. And that's been something that I've been experimenting with a lot, trying to become a better storyteller. That's why, you know, we've got 24 hours in Singapore. So if you do something stupid and it ends up costing you a lot more money, story me. And that's why we've got the most exotic office in the world. All right, I take it back. Maybe this is the coolest office in the world. Got the infinity pool, got the ocean in the background, and still no sand. Or the desk. My name's Sean Ogle, and a few years ago, my life kind of sucked. So I quit my job, I started traveling, and I built a community to help other people do the exact same thing. The more video I do, the better storyteller I become. So that's reason number one. All right, reason number two. I think you should start a video blog to connect with your audience and get your personality across. So I don't necessarily ever expect millions or even thousands of people to watch my vlog every week. I hope they will, but I don't expect them to. But I do think there's a small subset of people that are really interested in what I'm offering. They're really interested in the idea of starting a lifestyle business. And they really want to be able to trust me and they want to understand who I am and who they're going to learn for. And if there's someone who's thinking about buying Location Rebel, which is a $500 investment, $497 investment, they want to know that they're getting it from someone they can trust. And a video blog allows them to go through, watch a bunch of videos of me where you can kind of get an idea of what I'm all about. You can sense that I'm a little bit sarcastic. You can sense that I hopefully know what I'm talking about. You can sense that I like to have fun and I genuinely want to help people. So I don't care about the millions and millions of people, but I do care about that small subset that might be interested in what I'm offering. And I want my personality to come across. I hope that when you watch one of these videos or you read one of my blog posts, if you ever meet me in person, I hope that I'm the exact same person you think I will be. And that's something, that's a big point of pride for me. So that's number two. Number three, 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 that's, no, that's six, three. Diversify your content. So some people like to read blog posts. Some people like to listen to podcasts. Some people like to watch video. Your audience is digesting things in all of these different mediums. And so you should be using all of these different mediums. Some people just like photographs and Instagram is a great way to do it. And these days, more and more people are going to sources like YouTube and the internet to view their content. So it's a great opportunity to diversify your content and reach a new audience or continue to serve the audience you already have in a way that some of them might find meaningful. Number four, 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 four. The fourth reason I think you should start a video blog is to hold yourself accountable. And I think there's two types of accountability. At least there's two types of accountability for me when it comes to video blogging. One, and this is kind of the most important one for me personally, doing more cool stuff. A lot of people spend 12 hours in front of their computer and then they'll get up, they'll go get takeout for dinner and they'll spend another four hours watching Netflix and then they go to bed. That's not that interesting. I'd like to think that my life is a little more interesting that, than that. And my Twitter bio for years has been currently doing the things most people just talk about doing. So whether it's taking a trip to go find the Statue of Liberty. All right, there she is. Statue of Liberty, like 12 trips to New York. I have never seen her. Or going on a golf road trip through Florida. That's going to be next week. I leave tomorrow. Um, or doing videos like this. I'm trying to push myself to do a wide variety of videos. The other type of accountability is for people that want to grow their business. If you say, okay, I'm going to do this every Thursday at 8 a.m., it gives you some accountability to shoot for. Um, it helps you build out your content schedule, whether it's with a video or blog posts or emails you send or whatever. Hold yourself accountable for doing cool stuff and hold yourself accountable for building your business. Two great reasons to start a blog. Five. 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 Reason five. 
learn a useful and increasingly relevant skill. Does anybody think video is going anywhere? Do you think video is going anywhere? No. Sure, the way people are digesting video is changing. You know, we're, it's, it's not all about broadcast network television anymore. Now more and more people are going to places like YouTube and Hulu and all these places online to digest their content. And that's a great opportunity for you. It has never been easier to shoot video. It's never been easier to get a point and shoot camera, a computer, and upload a video to the internet. And more and more people are going to continue to be digesting content via this medium. And so whether, um, you know, you want to shoot a video sales letter or you want to add content to your blog or you want to, you know, update your, you know, the way your Skype interviews go or whatever it is, video is not going anywhere. So it doesn't hurt to learn a little bit about how to do it and how to shoot a compelling video. And I'm not saying that I'm the best at it. Frankly, I still kind of suck. I'm still working on these details, like lighting over here, sound right here, video quality here. I'm probably completely out of focus right now, but I'm trying to get the point across that vlogging is a great way to grow your business, hold yourself accountable, meet new people. It's a good thing, even if you don't have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of followers and subscribers. Everybody wants subscribers. It's not that big of a deal. You don't need subscribers to make money. You just have to have a plan for how you're going to utilize video to begin with. So those are my five reasons. Let's recap. I swear I know them, but it's easier with a laptop. One, become a better storyteller. Storytelling is the absolute most important thing you can learn to do in life and or business. Got that? Are you sick of me pointing at you? Number two, connect with your audience. See, this is us connecting. You, me, me, you, this is us connecting right here. You're getting my personality. You can tell that I'm a total dork and a little obnoxious at times, but hopefully you like that. Yeah, maybe. Three, diversify your content. Some people like podcasts. Some people like blog posts. Some people like video. Give people what they want. Four, hold yourself accountable for doing cool things. You want to live an interesting life. You've only got one life, so make it interesting and... Take a camera with you. You've probably got an iPhone. You can use that. That'll work great. And finally, number five, learn a useful and increasingly relevant skill. Video is not going anywhere. It's only going to get bigger. So you should know at least the basics of how to put together a good video. And I'm done. That was vlog number seven. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe below. I try not to make all of these videos me just in front of the camera, but I feel like this one was, you know, at least moderately entertaining. I take off tomorrow for Orlando, Florida, doing a little road trip down through Miami, get me playing some golf. So next week, maybe a golf vlog, but it'll be a travel vlog. So you won't see me just in my bedroom talking to a camera. Um, hopefully it'll be fun. So anyway, check out all the other videos on our channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Like I said, subscribers aren't everything, but they help. And it lets me know that you're actually watching this, enjoying it. Leave a comment if you like this. Give it a little thumbs up thing. All of those things that you probably already know how to do. And I need to pack. I need to get going. See you guys later. I'm still pointing. Why am I still pointing? That's stupid. Okay, I'm gonna stop. End of vlog seven.